What the hell is going on with NVIDIA's rebar support? There are plenty of games that perform better with rebar enabled via the third-party profile inspector software, yet the official list hasn't grown. Has NVIDIA given up on whitelisting games? I mean, Seems that way. NVIDIA's rebar support was weird from the get-go, and it just doesn't seem to have improved. I, I've got nothing for you on that one. It makes no sense to me whatsoever because... There's performance to be had there. They want to win benchmarks. It kind of feels like they were checking off a checklist of supported features for a competition for competition purposes. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, oh, AMD's got this feature. Let's make our equivalent, check the box, and then that's it. Yeah, I get they don't want to make... Well, I resizable bar is not really an AMD feature, it's not, but you know what I mean, right? Like yeah. AMD, AMD's advertising it. But so. but again, I, I get that, but it's, that would be way too petty to the point where it, because it doesn't make sense. Like if they can get 5%, 10% better performance in Forza Horizon 5 or Horizon Zero Dawn or pick a game where, you know, resizable bar is of benefit, they want to win benchmarks, which is kind of like the whole reason why ray tracing and DLSS, you know, NVIDIA would absolutely love nothing more in life than all reviewers to enable the highest level of ray tracing in any game that supports it and DLSS, for example, and show them just smashing the the graphs. I think they want features that they can market. And I think ray tracing and DLSS and the general performance is much easier to market than being like, well, you know, some of the time you can, you know, our rebar support gives you 3% better performance. I think they're kind of beyond that, that level of yeah, know, I mean, I, I, nitpicking I, over their I things. know for a fact they want to win benchmarks. So therefore, yeah, yeah. it's strange and doesn't make sense to me. I guess maybe they just don't think it's that important. Like if they're already getting heaps of sales from DLSS and ray tracing support and yeah, maybe generally being care. faster, they're like, we've already got all of our marketing points that we need. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about RTX. We're going to talk about having the fastest GPU. Meh. Beyond that, you know. We're good. Yeah, it's interesting because it can be completely external from AMD. If you're uh, an NVIDIA user and you have an Elder Lake CPU, for example, the performance gains there from actually having working resizable bar are quite substantial or can be in Mm. certain titles. So I think NVIDIA are doing themselves and their users a bit of a disservice there by not taking advantage of that. But why that is can't answer the question. Mm. Makes no sense to me whatsoever.